Alright everybody, this is going to be a very very important video that you have to watch all the way through the end because I actually think that a significant major bull trap here is about to potentially play out. And I'm going to exactly tell you guys here in this video why I actually think this and it's going to be a little bit of a shorter video but anyway let's dive here straight into it. First of all, what you can actually see here is that we have this RSI downtrend or this RSI channel here. And this is something that I talked about a few videos back. This is something that I used to look at quite a lot in the past. But what you can again see here is that you have kind of this RSI channel here to the past, especially if you look for instance on a 12 hour time frame, but you can as well see it here a little bit on a four hour time for time frame or even here a daily time frame. And basically what actually happened right over here is that we had an impulse here to the upside. We broke the RSI channel, but then we still had one more move here actually to the downside and then eventually well, as you can see right up here, we eventually moved here back up. I actually think something like that is going to happen here again. So why do I personally believe here is basically because of two things. First of all, the sentiment the sentiment is extremely bullish if I look on Twitter. A lot of people again calling for higher and higher numbers. And this is very similar to again what we saw here back in May of 2023 here this year, where we basically came here to the upside and then eventually we came back here down, we eventually went sideways, a little bit down, faded to the lows, and then eventually this move to the upside. Sentiment, in my opinion, is pretty much telling me that there is going to be one more move still to the downside. And then what you can basically see here is that the R side is going to be a little bit more oversold here on the daily, maybe even go a little bit lower. And then eventually I think we're going to break up here and then together here with the price, we're going to move it to the target that I have here for 34,000 US dollar. Now as well, the stock market, and this is something that I talked about in many of my videos, is per, well, in my opinion, going to get a little bit of a correction here to the downside. I still think the stock market could go much and much higher. There's a lot of momentum still left, but it is quite overbought. And personally, I am expecting a pullback here to the 12 hour oversold. So you could see basically this happened right over here, December last year, and then as well here in March of this year. And then eventually this uptrend here to the upside happened. The 12 hour oversold is a target that you very often see the stock market hit, especially in an uptrend, for instance, if I go back here as well, here to the uptrend that we saw here to the upside, it came back basically, I don't know how much times, like six, seven times here to the 12 hour oversold, and then the uptrend continued, I continued here again to the upside. So I think personally, a nice little bit of a pullback here is going to be quite nice. And this as well would potentially mean here a pullback on Bitcoin. So I'm very, very cautious. I'm not going into a long position. As you guys know, I really had to cash out my long position because I'm moving to a different country. So regardless of that, I'm not gonna go into a long position, but anyway, I personally believe one more move to the downside here, fade the lows, and then eventually I think we're gonna see something like this here to the upside. So that's basically my trade here. Personally, I am still here into a long position. As you can see, I shared this here inside my free Discord channel. If you actually wanna join it, all you have to do is actually sign up on my Bobbit link and then here fill in this Google form and then I will actually add you here to the free Discord. But I'm just gonna close this position and I'm gonna wait a little bit more. Personally, I don't really expect this trade here to play out. I'm gonna wait here to fade the lows and then I'm gonna re-enter actually this position. And as well, let's talk very quickly here about the wave edge indicator. So basically what you can basically see is that whenever we have a daily cross here on a daily time frame, we very much pretty much always see a move to the upside. So we, you can see it over here, we saw a 10% move to the upside. Over here, we saw an 8% move. Over here, of course, this major move to the upside. But as well here, you can basically see it over here at the bottom. Over here, move to the upside, this was 15%. Over here, of course, this major move to the upside, this was 50%. And then over here, this was 20%. And over here, you can basically see as well here about a 60%. So 50, 50% 50 of the time, Sometimes you like only like a 10% move, but 50% of the time you see like a 50% move, something like that. So I basically think that this move here has basically been finished. You can see here, we got a daily cross here to the top. This is about a 5% move to the upside. Not a major move, but personally, it looks again quite similar to the structure that we saw over here, where you get kind of a fake up move to the upside, still some nice gains, but not those major gains here that you know, you're looking for. You know, of course, everybody's looking for like 50% pump to the upside here to the higher levels, but personally, I don't really think that is going to start here from this position. So I think this upside move is finished and one more move to the downside. And then I think we're gonna see more daily crosses right over here, somewhere around this level, and then eventually a move back here to the upside. If I go as well here to the three day time frame, you can see that when we went here to the upside, we had this major move over here. We saw a three day cross as well. And over here, this 50% move to the upside, we as well saw a three day cross and we're not seeing those yet. So if we are gonna get one more move to the downside, I think a three day cross may potentially show up and in my opinion that would clear here the way 
for a move here to 34,000 US dollar, which was my target for my long position. But as you guys know, I cashed out my long position here because I'm moving here to a different country. But after we move here to 34,000 US dollar, I think we are going to again restart some kind of a downtrend here, probably somewhere around 20K. We're gonna get the halving and then eventually the move here back to the upside. This is my scenario that I basically have here and that I'm gonna be focusing on here in the coming few months moving forward. So this is a short update, a very quick update, but this is what I'm looking at. One more move to the upside to 34,000 US dollar. Start market as well probably is going to go higher after a slight correction. And then eventually here, somewhere around December, a correction here back to the downside, downtrend, and then until the halving, boom, a more bigger move to the upside. But I'm gonna talk about everything here in the next few videos moving forward. So definitely don't hesitate, make sure to subscribe. And as well, of course, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.